Hi there, it's Mr. Wyman. I'm going to review area with you. So area is space, right? And um, really simple, let's start off with rectangles. If we're talking about a rectangle, okay, the area is the space within the rectangle, okay? Let's say this rectangle is three by six, three inches by six inches. The reason we want to know how much space is inside, uh, how much area is inside a space, um, there's lots of different reasons. One is um, maybe you want to put, maybe this is not three inches or six inches, but three yards and, and six yards, and it's a large room, and you want to put a rug in. Uh, this actually is like question on a quiz, but it's a real life situation. And you want to know what size rug would fit in here. So you'd have to figure out the area. A lot of times when you're buying rugs also, um, the rug will actually have, like you're looking online or in a catalog and the rug will say the dimensions. So as long as it's less than three yards on one, in one direction, in the shortest direction, which would be called the width, width, um, and less than six yards or whatever, which is the length, this would be the length, the longer side is the length, then you'd be safe, right? Um, sometimes, like a uh, situation I've I've experienced over the years is, um, if you are, let's say, you're painting a, a room and you you the paint can says that the paint will cover like 350 square feet. Well, what's that mean? That means that. If you take, if this is a wall and it's like maybe three feet by six feet, right, instead of inches, um, would you have enough paint to cover this little wall? Uh, well, you'd have to figure it out. And if you figured out the area and it was less than 350 square feet, then you had enough, you had enough paint, right? If it was more, if the area you wanted to paint ended up being more than 350 square feet, then you have to get another gallon of paint. Okay, so anyways, when you're trying to figure out the area of something though, um, how do you do it? How? Um, so if the length is six inches and the width is three inches, it's the same for a rectangle. It would be the same on either side, right? Um, that means that you've measured, this is one inch, here's a second inch and a third inch, and then along here you would have um, six inches, Six inches, one, two, three, four, five, six. You measured it and there's six inches. Well, the area, we're looking for how many squares can fit inside of there. A really easy way to, um, to do this in a visual way is to just draw the squares. Um, we used GeoBoard, uh, the app, um, where you could actually make the shape, but also you could just draw, literally draw on paper. You don't even have to have a ruler because uh, it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw. I have three rows here, okay? And these represent the three inches, three height, because it's three inches all the way across. And then I'm gonna draw six columns, and each one of these is one, two, three, four, five, six, six inches uh, wide, all right? Now, how many squares do I actually have? That's your area. Okay, so it's square, and in this case, it's inches. But like I said, um, it could very well be feet or yards or meters, miles even. Um, it all depends on what you're measuring with and what you're, what you're measuring, okay? And each one of those things is called a unit. Um, if you don't know what you're measuring by, um, then you could say units. So this is three units and this is six units, but we know it's inches. Um, I just made I just made that up. But if that's what you're measuring by, then that's what you're measuring by. And you want to be as accurate as possible at all times. So how many squares do we have? Well, if you counted them, one, two, three, four, five, six, you'd find that there are 18. Now, I don't even know have to count them. You know why? Because what does this look like? What do you see when you're looking at these uh, squares, this rectangle? It's an array. And what do we do with arrays? Well, we multiply. Um, this side by this side. We can multiply three rows of six, three times six equals, and if you know your multiplication facts, it's 18. 
3 times 6 equals 18. Now, because we are figuring out how many squares are in here, just like we want to use the correct units, we're going to say what this 18 means. You always want to do that in math. So this is actually 18 square, what? Square inches. Square inches, okay? Now, that's how you can find the area of a rectangle. I'm gonna make another rectangle and I want you to try this one on your own. This one is, it's ugly is what it is. <laughs> this one is going to be four, I'll just say units, four units by five units. Now this time the length goes up and down and the width goes from side to side. The width is always the shorter length, the shorter um, side and the length is the longer side. So how many units, what is the area of this rectangle? You could do the same thing as over there. And guess what? You don't have to draw the squares. Why? Well, if you put, if you figure this out, what we did after we drew the squares is we recognized that it's an, that it's an array and we multiplied three times six. Well, do you have to draw squares in order to know that there are squares in there? No, you don't have to. You could just do four times five. And that's how many square units would fit in this rectangle. So what's four times five? Right, 20. And we're not done. We want to do 20 square units. And that's how you find the area.